All right, so you might have noticed that it's kind of been a while since I posted again, and by the while, I mean like, <clears throat> like two months, so I I'm sorry about that. I do plan on making a separate video kind of explaining my thought process behind not posting, but right now, I thought I'd give you guys a little rundown of everything that's been happening since I last posted, because there's a lot. Firstly, you might have noticed I did start a saltwater tank, which is super cool and also a money suck, but anyway, something I didn't really talk much about at all was me actually dismantling the Skittles tank because it really wasn't working out. That being said, I still am really interested in shrimp. In fact, most of what I'm actually keeping right now are shrimp. I dedicated an entire shelf in my room to shrimp. At the moment, I only have a few colors, including these awesome looking cherry shrimp and some of the original blue dreams from the first Skittles tank, which I think is super cool. As far as the axolotls go, they're both doing incredibly well, however Pikachu's tank is kind of in disarray and I don't really know what's happening, so I'm just gonna choose to ignore it. But something I can't ignore is how giant Kipper has gotten so quickly. I mean, I've almost had him for I think nine months now, and this is him next to my size nine shoe. He's, he's a chunky boy. Aside from the axolotls, there are actually a couple other tanks, but I feel like they deserve their own video, so I'll save them for another time. However, I wanna go back to the clownfish real quick. Something you might have noticed is these are not the original two clownfish that I had in this tank. In fact, they are completely different. However, However, I did say if you could correctly guess the previous type of clownfish that I had, I would give you a shout out. So in the comments are all the names of all the people who got that right. Sorry I didn't say it sooner, but there you go. 